What's going on YouTube? This is Carries here. Uh, today I wanted to bring y'all a little unboxing and a review. Um, I'm putting this new seat on my bike. If y'all seen my other videos, check it out. Specialized Stump Jumper Comp FSR. This is the Surface Road Mountain Bike RX-RR seat. So this seat is 320 grams and I think it's been tested in some other videos. It's actually a little lighter than that. It feels pretty light. Um, it's got chromoly rails on it. Y'all can see here. CR-MO. So the chromoly rails. RX. So this is supposed to be a super, super comfortable seat. Kind of their top of the line seat that they offer. Uh, retails for about $79.95. I actually picked it up a little bit less than that from a seller on eBay, in which I made an offer for and won. So I did save some money on this seat. But just some stuff is pressure, eliminating channel. So you can see they the way they engineer this is they, they look at your uh, you know where you sit, your sit bones on a seat, and they, they put padding where it's supposed to be and none where it's not. So zero friction gel infused padding twin bar anatomical flex so this seat actually on this this twin bar setup here and you'll see it a little bit better when we get it out but you can see this actually flexes back and forth um, so this says the rails are 20 percent longer so you can adjust it more you can see the rails are longer so you have more room to adjust within your clamp and uh, the back of the pack here for y'all to see you can see the different layers of foam they use that um, Lyrica, Lyrica, vinyl, microfiber, or soft flex cover. Um, they use soft closed cell foam for a plush feel and then firm closed cell foam for shock resistance and support and then rubber inserts for shock absorption. Y'all can see the kind of blue on the back side here, the rubber inserts. So surface, pretty good name in seats. Um, it uses, utilizes their ICS, which is their infinite comfort system. So, supposed to be pretty high tech, guys. I'm getting this to replace my specialized seat, which I'll show you all right here. This is just a specialized, you know, see the S. Um, and now this one came on my, like this one came on my bike. This is this one actually uses a chromoly rail also, hollow chromoly rail. Um, this one was on the bike, y'all, and we rode uh, when I went riding the other day. Did some riding at Poinsett and um, State Park, and I tell you what, man, my ass hurt for whew, about a week maybe. Here's the side by side of the two seats, so you can see the surface is a good bit wider should be more comfortable it definitely it's firm feeling for, from what i've seen you know it's, it's pretty firm but it's it feels good once you sit on it it definitely feels like there's a little more cushion in it than on this seat and this seat i think you know that bike's 07 um it looks like it's probably the seat that came on it because if you've seen my bike before um it was kind of got the white color scheme on it probably the same seat y'all um we're going to replace it. The seat's just old and worn out. Alright, so open it up. All we did is cut this one zip tie. Here's the seat, guys. Definitely very lightweight. If y'all are some weight freaks out there. I know I'm I'm not really especially, but, you know, I, that bike is so light. I don't want to make it any heavier, so I do kind of enjoy. And this was kind of a seller to me that this seat was so light. You know, and utilizing the chrome alley rails here versus some um, steel. Um, and then the, also the design of the seat. So let's go ahead. Uh, the tools you're going to need, your tool you're going to need is some Allen wrenches. Are you, uh, well, it depends on what seat you're putting it on, guys. For this application, this is kind of the more modern, more modern setup. As you just pull these two Allen Allen bolts out, and you can see they go through here. And you just take this off and you put it on your new put it on your new rails so that's how you do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these two out alright guys so opinions um, I've done about see if I can get this thing to play back for you 
miles, so almost seven miles. Did this this evening. One of my buddies uh, went riding. So um, let's see. What do I think about it? Um, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, you can see here where I have it adjusted. It's kind of all the way, all the way to the back. I know y'all got y'all kind of upside down, but it's kind of all the way to the back. Um, it, you know, it's fairly comfortable. The the reviews that I've seen on it, guys, people say that uh, at first, um, you know, that it's very stiff, it's very firm, but that they it kind of grows on you. You know, you get used to it. Uh, I I think I could have to I would have to say the same thing. It's firm. At first, I didn't really know if I was going to like it, but I wasn't really sore after you know almost seven miles of just kind of mixed riding. Um, nothing really hard, just mainly uh, concrete, asphalt, uh, some off road through a field, down a dirt road, grass, uh, just kind of mixed terrain really. Um, but the majority was on flat ground. I can't really say for you know a lot of bumps and. Uh, off-road trail riding but uh if you're doing you know my thought on that too guys is if you're doing like so if you're doing any extreme trail riding um you're probably not going to be sitting a lot on the seat that's just my thought on that um but this seat is pretty comfortable and i i have to say that i do enjoy it thus far